I knew from what I had heard and what I had read that I really had very little chance of living. There were no treatments at that time. There were no medications that were available to me. John Gard is talking about his HIV diagnosis in 1985. I knew something had to be done and I had a drive to find the answer to continue to live. John is finding those answers at the UCLA Clinical AIDS Research and Education Center, or CARE, at a new off-campus facility dedicated to the best possible patient care and to research. HIV attacks the body by infecting the T cells um, and that destroys the immune system. We have some exciting new therapies on the horizon. There are different classes of medications and also next generations of the current uh, medications that we have. The care center offers clinical trials that pave the way for better treatments, medications to combat side effects, gene therapy. Researchers are even working on an AIDS vaccine. I've been involved in three research programs here and they're really remarkable programs that have helped develop new drugs to treat Alzheimer's because of something I had in my brain was kind of like Alzheimer's and also two HIV experimental drugs and, and that have been remarkable and that have saved my life. One of the reasons why I went into HIV medicines was because um, there's a great need for um, doctors and nurses that are trained and taking care of patients that have HIV especially as patients are living longer with the new medications. It's really exciting for me to, to be able to see um, patients just live long, healthy lives. For Dr. Emery Chang, this work is a career and a calling. He spent last summer mentoring doctors and nurses in tiny mountain villages in Rwanda. It was really amazing to see um, a group of people that, despite the circumstances and lack of resources, really committed to their patients and um, being able to accomplish so much with so little. And HIV is still a major public health problem in America. Of the one million HIV population in this country, one quarter do not know they are infected. And this 25% are believed responsible for half of all new cases. Universal testing that's now recommended for all Americans is really important in order so we can discover the people that have HIV and prevent those people from infecting other people. The earlier you know about your HIV, um, the better you can take care of yourself because we like to start medications before people get truly sick and develop AIDS. That's what we know now. We know that by giving people medications at a certain stage, you can help prevent the onset of some of the diseases that have killed people in the past. It is a message of hope to see where we're going with all of this. And now that we've all survived 20 some years, where are we going? And, and where are we going as a nation in terms of helping people to prevent the spread of HIV to start with, and also to help uh, people around the world and, and share the knowledge that we've, that we've accumulated here. <laughs>